fam happy monday today is not technically i'm taking the kids to gymnastics right now and i grabbed a camera with the i grabbed a camera with a dead battery today sucks and i've resorted to my phone already it is 10 a.m and i'm already using my phone if this is foreshadowing how the rest of the day is gonna go i just want to quit now can i just quit and start drinking i did bring my diaper bag backpack thingy stuff bag filled with stuff that i need throughout the day but I'm 98% sure I left the charged battery on the counter at home. Fully charged. It's not doing me any good there, is it? But there it is. Anyway, I am headed off to gymnastics this morning. The kids have tumbling and it is a bring a friend day. So Kaizen is going to bring Lilia as his friend for the day. And she is so excited because she just wants to be involved in everything. And Alina, Lilia's best friend, stayed the night last night. So Kaden's friend is going to be Alina for the day, which means all of the kids get to do gymnastics today. And they're so stinking excited. Are you talking to yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm talking to myself. I tend to do that. We're about to pull in. I'm going to check my bag and see if I found my charge battery. But if I don't, then we're going to be dealing with this for the next hour i apologize <laughs> at least chris has a fully charged battery and a camera so hopefully he's using it what's up fam <laughs> so we are out this morning and we are on our way as you can tell from what i'm wearing if you know anything about paintball i'm just said it i'm going out to paintball and well we are so we're going out right now and we have not been and probably 10 years it's been a long time and I don't think I can play like I was 20 anymore so let's just see if I can last with all these young kids out here we'll get some uh, damage control or damage updates throughout the day to see how bad we get hurt <laughs> accurate yeah. There you are, little turd you. Come to mama. That's better, now you guys can actually see me. We just got home, the kids had so much fun at gymnastics. This is how much fun the kids had at gymnastics. Pooped. It's time for her morning nap and it's time for me to edit. The rest of the kids are entertaining themselves, they're pretty good at that nowadays. So you guys may have noticed, and I did talk about this on Snapchat, so if you don't have me on Snapchat, go add me on there. My schedule, as you guys know, is supposed to be Monday through Friday. I post five videos a week, generally Monday through Friday, and lately I've been posting something on Saturday, and I don't know if anyone like really like sits down and like notices, but usually I'll start off the week like perfect on time. Monday's video comes up at like noon, my time anyway, and that's another hard part. Where I live, I'm literally like one of the last time zones i think there's only one time zone that's behind us so for me i'll be like oh this is so awesome i got my video up like at noon today but in everywhere else in the world it's like the next day or late that day so already the odds are against me but usually in the beginning of the week i'll get my, my video up at a decent time and then throughout the week you'll slowly see it getting later and later and later in the day sometimes it ends up getting so spread out to where my friday video gets posted on saturday Saturday. so it was one of those weeks so I do try my best to get my videos up Monday through Friday and that is my goal however I think generally my overall my real goal is to get five videos up that week so sometimes it may look a little bit different of course I'm try I do try to do videos every weekday that way I can kind of get my weekends like off in a sense like away from editing because it is so time consuming people don't understand how time consuming like quality videos are and i think my videos are pretty good i mean i like to think they're pretty good it just takes time it's definitely fun like more fun than i think a lot of people's jobs would be and i like truly honestly just genuinely enjoy editing so it is fun for me but it can be tedious especially if you're working on the same video for a long time definitely not complaining i'm just letting you guys know it is hard work so i didn't mean to turn this into like a mini ramp but that's what this is so today is Saturday you guys are seeing this on Monday and I'm working on Friday's video so I'm supposed to have today like off in a sense but I don't I haven't heard from Chris I have never been paintballing in my life so I have no idea like what it consists of or I don't know I don't really honestly have a, any interest in it but hopefully the boys are having fun because not too much fun going on here <laughs> We're gonna lie and say we're winning. So I had an update right before we went out 
but me and Gabe, we just uh, we just had our first game. It was brutal, if I'm being completely honest. It's been a long time. It's all very familiar. I just need, it's, it's like muscle memory. You just have to remember where you're going and what to do. We're gonna go ahead and get more air and paint, and then they're about to call us right back out. Hopefully we can get a few more games in before we have to go, because we got kids and So that was a short nap. Huh, are you already awake? So I know that it's still technically September, but I might be just a little bit excited for fall slash Halloween. And I am over here looking up family ideas for Halloween costumes. As you guys know, hang on, I think I have an eyelash. By the way, people have been asking me how I like these eyelashes and I freaking love them. I have already had a couple fills and I literally like, they have changed my life. If you guys want Callie's information, she's the one that does these eyelashes. I will have those links down below. But I totally just got sidetracked. What was I saying? Family Halloween costumes. I have always done like family themes. And I always told myself that as the kids got older, they're probably not gonna wanna do it anymore. And to my surprise, they love it. They get a kick out of it. They are constantly talking about, what are we gonna be for Halloween this year? What theme are we gonna do? We've had a few different ideas so far, but nothing really just like, yes, like, yes, we want to do this. The hard part about the family Halloween costumes is that most of the time we don't get Tommy and Kaden because Halloween is during like the week or not on a three-day weekend so for me it's like really tough for me to do family things without Tommy and Kaden because I just don't feel complete and I almost feel like they're being like left out of it so I usually try to do at least something with them on one of the weekends like a little trick-or-treat like Zubu type thing yes yes you can have a banana <laughs> I try to schedule at least like one weekend with them where we can do some kind of like trick-or-treating thing in the past we did something at a zoo where they have like trick-or-treating at the zoo and then that was like our main event as a family and then on top of that we have to find family ideas that can accommodate as many kids as we have and as big of a family that <coughs> <coughs> I'm dying. Then we have to figure out costume ideas that can accommodate as many people in our family and that's tough in itself. So I would love ideas from you guys. Give me some comments, I need some help. And ultimately the kids pick what we get to do because I've already been a kid. But they are wanting ideas too. We've sat and discussed it several times and we're leaning towards one thing, but that's gonna be an issue as far as like finding costumes for everybody because they all like know who they wanna be, but I don't know if we can find costumes for all of the characters, that, which means I would have to make some of the costumes and I am just not that crafty. I am crafty, but not so -y crafty. Maybe my grandma can help me, I don't know. So, I don't know. Ideas in the comments, let me know. <laughs> Okay, come over here. We were just sitting right here looking at costumes together. And she was just saying like 10 seconds ago, Mom, the back of my tooth feels really weird. It happened! <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you pull it or did it just come out? I pulled it. You pulled it? <laughs> oh man. It's a lot of blood. <laughs> Let's see the new smile. You look like an old lady. No. <laughs> there it is. The stubborn tooth that wouldn't fall out. I think it took a little over a month. I don't know if you guys remember, but it was loose before school started and I was like, oh my gosh, she's gonna lose her tooth before she starts school. That this tooth will probably come out today. She's gonna be toothless for the rest of school. <laughs> little did we know, a month later it would still be in. And here it is, finally. You know who's coming tonight? The tooth fairy. The tooth fairy. We got some picture to your dad. We just finished our last game, and I ate it pretty bad. Lost my gun. Yes, yes, you did. Paint exploded everywhere, and just went across the whole bunker that I slid into. And my hands are bleeding from sliding. And then, as soon as I slid, everyone saw my gun on the floor, and they shot the gun. And that's like an automatic out. So that was kind of like a bummer way to go for the day. Fun. It was fun. Fun. We'll be doing this some more. She was sitting on the couch and she was just sitting next to me and she was just like messing with it and she was like, touch the back of my tooth, it feels funny. So I touched the back of it and then like 10 seconds later, I'm like looking on the computer because I was like, you have costumes for everybody and yeah. she just like casually was like, hey, I pulled my tooth out. <laughs> I was like, 
Oh my god. She's so excited. <laughs> Tooth Fairy is coming tonight. We're gonna head out. Jessica's been home with the kids all day long. She's going nuts, so time to go. We had fun. He's got a birthday party to go to. It's been real, guys. <laughs> Alright, then, sir. Till next time. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Yep. Next time I'll shoot you. We'll see. <laughs> watched um, a couple hours here and there, but. Adeline Jade. What are you doing? Are you making a mess? Better. You're getting better? Are we your first stop on your new motorcycle? Yeah. Woohoo! You guys should be honored. <laughs> Look at Landon's all proud now to it's ride this one. It's, like the it's literally the same thing. Why do you think I bought him this? That is so like cute. <laughs> I was sitting right here in our living room and all of a sudden I hear a motorcycle. I'm like, who the heck? Because there's like, there's no traffic on the street. And this motorcycle comes riding up on <laughs> my lawn, not lawn, my oh, yard. What? Yo, what? Yon, what? It looks like a dirt track. <laughs> what lawn? Yeah, we made this for you, Ben. Look at this is your own little dirt track to ride on. He just got this today because you he just got his uh, permit. permit. Yeah, like a what two weeks ago or something. Yeah. So yeah, it's a real one. Are you gonna bring it camping? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> we are on our way out to Mimi's house today is Saturday and we always go to Mimi's house on Saturday and then this Saturday, you guys can't see him, he's in there waving to me. Tomorrow is Mimi's birthday so I'm running to the store to go get her a few special things. She doesn't like to like celebrate birthdays, she thinks it's just like weird. Eight dollars later, gotta love the dollar store. But yeah, like I was saying, Mimi doesn't really like celebrating anything really. She's just like, it's a waste of money to throw a party. The kids love it, and she'll love that the kids love it. So, let's <laughs> see, Eddie. She's gonna hate this. She does not like stuff on her head. <gasps> Look at Eddie. You can go celebrate Mimi's birthday. She looks like a cone head. It's like on the wrong. Okay, you guys. Mimi loves to clean up messes, so make a big mess in her house, okay? okay. <laughs> you guys are ready. I look like a unicorn. <laughs> you love to clean up messes. Yay. <laughs> Happy almost birthday. <laughs> shape as you were when you were 17 <laughs> more in shape than your daughter <laughs> really 49 years ago your first child and my husband said, you know, a lot of people say this, but in our case, it's really true. That is the prettiest baby. Oh, how sweet. Bye, Mimi. Happy birthday in the morning. <laughs> Your present is the presents of these kids. <laughs> We're heading back home now. Saturdays are our like family days, and we always end up staying late, and some of the kids end up staying the night there. And it's just like the best. Day Two front teeth, I think she pays the most for. Let's see it smile. I love you. I love you too. Good night. Good night. <laughs>